Kim Anderson, our grain marketing specialist, joins us now. And Kim, early in the week we saw that 60 cent price drop. Kind of give us an idea of where things stand now. Well, we were expecting prices to back off at some point in time. You know, we had a $2.95 price rally. You go back to June 15th, Kansas City Board of Trade September contract, $6.46. On uh, July the 20th, uh, Friday before the money on the, on the drop is $9.41. You know, it declined 27 cents on Monday, 33 cents on, on uh, Tuesday, back up on Wednesday, back down on, on, uh, on Thursday. You look at cash, it went from 607 to 903 and back to 843. So a lot of zigzagging going on on the charts, I'm sure. What are some of the, the driving forces behind this trend? Well, as we look at that rally, of course, if you look at the uh, Black Sea area, they're expected to export 33%. Uh, wheat Australia was dry, their production's down. Argentina planted uh, less acres. Corn in the drought, corn production going from about 14.4 billion down to maybe less than 12 billion bushels. All that got us the rally. But if you look at what came out this week, it was announced that India's exporting wheat and is tendering wheat for export. Australia got some rain. Their wheat may not be as uh, low as they, they expected. Seedboro is importing corn from Brazil and the market woke up and says, hey, we are in a world market. And so I think we had some negative factors that came in and the market woke up that we may have driven it too far. Okay, what does the wheat supply and demand picture look like then? It looks relatively good, let's just put it that way. You look at the uh, ending stocks for, for the United States, 664 million versus 710 on the average, slightly less than that. Stocks to use ratio, 27.4% compared to 31.9. So the U.S. stocks are tight, but on the world, you've actually got uh, ending stocks projected to be above the average, 6.7, the average is 6.5 billion bushels. The stocks to use ratio, 26.8% versus 27.2, almost the same. So in the world, we have adequate supplies of wheat. We've just got to keep it from going into the feed market. We've got to keep it in the food market. Okay, and as a result of all this, what price levels are you really keeping an eye on? Well, I think we got some good price levels this week uh, on those ranges that we, we traded. If you look at the September contract, we had support at 850. It went down to 856. We had resistance at uh, 950. It went up to 942. And I think that's a pretty good range to watch for the September, that 856 to 942. If you're watching December, 874 to 957. I'm watching those ranges. If we break out on the bottom, which is a possibility, then we got another 50 cents to maybe 75 to go down. Okay, Kim Anderson, a lot to talk about. We'll see you again next week. Thanks a lot.